So are you alright? Um, Good. You said after the Middlesbrough match you wanted to put that result in the bin. From what you've seen since on the training field, do you think that's going to be uh, that's going to be achievable this weekend? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I don't think we've discussed it to be honest. I think. Um, we had like an official apology from the assessors from, on the referee's performance, and um, wasn't gone. It's in the bin, as I said, and as my mentality has always been that um, shouldn't judge our football team on on that. And um, I think we've got lots of confidence and belief that we, you know, we're a good team, and we will move on to the next game. Um, as I said, you put put them games in the bin and move on, and that's what we're doing. So looking forward to the next challenge. When you get an official apology, I mean, what does that go anywhere to make you to, to kind of not recompense in terms of the results and a, and, and a points scenario, but in terms of how you feel about the situation, does it do anything to kind of make you feel a bit better? I suppose. No, <laughs> doesn't matter. Listen, I'm, I'm quite pragmatic about it. The, the results gone. That's what I was trying to say. You play for three points every game, and uh, them three points have gone. Put him in the bin. Move on. Next game, we've got another opportunity. Come in and. Um, yeah, it's 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 um, not an issue. We we we're looking forward now and um, knowing that if we play to our potential, we we got a chance of winning football matches. And, and still presents a great opportunity to to get back on the right track, doesn't it? Well, this talk is a tough game. Obviously, the, we've got Alex Neil. Um, I don't. Know, I was going to call it an issue. It's not an issue. He's, you know, he's 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 a, he's a very talented football manager, and he, he chose to um, made a decision in his life what he was doing next. And um, yeah, obviously that we have had a poor result against them in in, in uh, um, last season. I think we need to put that one in the bin, move on, um, and this is just the next challenge, really. Stoke are a very intense football team and um, very well organised um, but for us it's about us can we impose ourselves and our game style on, on the opposition who we play and whoever we play in, and uh, that's what we'll be trying to do at the weekend Yes, the, the Alex Neil dimension does add an extra element to it though doesn't it? I don't, not to me it doesn't but um, I don't know whether it does to anybody else I'm not sure but um, I've only ever managed, you know, I've been managing 20 odd years, I've managed many games against Alex's teams and um, they're always very well organised, very fit, very athletic and um, we uh, we look forward to this challenge, the next one, to get to see if we can um, find the answers to the team we're playing against. And that'll be without Daniel I mean, how much of a miss will he be? I said to him today, looking forward to a rest, I think, it's 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 good for him to, you know, because there is, it is a three game week, it is good for a young player to sometimes to um, enjoy, put his feet up, watch the football and be ready for three days later when he's going to be needed, so uh, that's not an issue for us. It presents an opportunity clearly for someone else as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I think um, I think it's an area of the pitch where we're not endowed with huge choices, but um, yeah, we will pick a team that I think can go to Stoke and give them problems and um, ultimately Dan not playing there'll be an opportunity a space there for somebody else to uh, showcase their talents Cheers. thank you